come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. Good things come to those who are forthcoming, but only if they make it count. Oh, you are quite correct. I consider them one of my finest features. Sometimes a lady has to make her presence known. Delicately, of course. Oh, you flatterer. But you are, of course, correct. My tail is quite the marvel. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. The drow. Two of our most popular courtesans. A night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. Of course, they are siblings. But judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. My favorite ungainly animal. Then perhaps you would like to go and do them. Get thee hence. Run hand me, you ham-fisted oaf. You should know better than to touch unasked. Be gone. Oh, no, thank you. So uncouth.